Hey guys, today I want to share with you how to shop like a minimalist. And honestly, even minimalists occasionally do have to bring things into their lives. And so today I want to show you how to bring those things into your life, how to shop with more intention. Back in the day, I was absolutely that person who would mindlessly walk into a store and just buy whatever caught my fancy. But over the past few years, I've really been able to retrain my brain and my shopping habits so that when I do go out and buy something, I can buy it with intention, with a purpose and thought behind it. So I've got a few tips to share with you today that have been extremely helpful for me in helping me learn to buy more intentionally and I'm super excited to share them with you. So let's get right into this. The first tip that I have for you is to make a list. And and this one absolutely changed my perspective of shopping. Going out and buying things that you've created and really set out on a list ahead of time helps you to be so much more intentional with your purchases, not only because it forces you to think about what you actually need and what's going to add value to your life, but also because it's going to help you to be able to make sure that the things that you're buying are things that you actually want and need rather than impulse purchases. So one app that I absolutely love for helping me out with this is ShopTagger, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. And ShopTagger is a free online app that's super easy to use. All you have to do is download the app and then go to the stores that you love and add any items you're considering purchasing onto your wish list. I'll frequently use ShopTagger when it comes to items I'm considering adding to my capsule wardrobe or to my house as well. And then the greatest thing about ShopTagger is that once you've added an item to your list, if it ever gets on sale or say that item is out of stock and they restock it, you'll actually get an email notification letting you know that, which is an amazing way of really being able to get a sale on an item that you would probably otherwise be purchasing. And like I mentioned, ShopTagger has an amazing ability to create a variety of different wish lists, so you can kind of group any items that you're considering purchasing or that you're evaluating into those lists so capsule wardrobe, home, you know, makeup and beauty, whatever. Um, so it's really easy to be able to find the items and uh, be able to like look at the groups of the different items that you're considering purchasing. So if you're interested in downloading ShopTagger, I will be leaving the link to that in the description box below. Uh, definitely go ahead and check that out, but just keep that in mind of whether you're making a grocery list or a list of items that you're looking to add to your wardrobe, or if you're buying a new house and trying to furnish it, having a list of items that you are intentionally wanting to bring into your life is one of the best ways to really make sure that the purchases that you're making are thought through and not impulsive. Okay, next up is to visualize the item. Picture how you're going to use it in your life, how often and where does it fit in. You want to make sure that as you're bringing things into your life, the things that not only you're going to love, but that are also going to be practical for you. So an example of this is if there's an item of clothing that you're thinking of bringing into your life, make sure that there's at least five outfits that that item is going to match with. If a shirt that you're considering buying simply doesn't match with enough other things in your wardrobe, you're probably not going to get enough use out of it to justify buying it. So really sit down and consider how will the item that you're considering purchasing really fit into your life. And if it has a lot of uses and you can visualize yourself really getting a lot of value from it, then that's fantastic and an indication that something truly would add value to your life. And that's what the process of visualization is all about. You want to consider whether or not an item you're looking at purchasing is truly going to add value to your life or not. So the first step is to make a list. Next, you want to go ahead and visualize. And then third is to wait. Now you can wait any amount of time that really suits you and your personality. Personally, I would recommend waiting a period of 24 hours to 30 days. And it's not so much the specific amount of time that's important here. What's important is that you're giving yourself a chance to sit back and reflect on whether or not an item is truly going to be adding lasting value to your life. Oftentimes we have the desire to buy things impulsively. We see it in the moment, are attracted to it, and want to bring it into our life without really considering whether or not we actually need that item, whether that item is going to get used, if it fits into our life. And so by giving ourselves a period of time to wait and say, okay, how does this fit into my life? Is this really important to me? Will this add significant value? By giving ourselves time to ask ourselves those questions, we're going to be able to make decisions and purchases that are going to be things that add value to our lives for months and years to come, rather than those impulse purchases that might give us an endorphin rush and adrenaline rush in the moment, 
but really have no lasting power and we lose interest in them and end up donating them a year later. So it's important to really evaluate our decisions carefully. I think that one of the huge keys to being able to do that well is to simply wait on our purchases before making them. Okay, number four is to assess your intentions. And this one is hugely important. Ask yourself, why do you want this item? I think that a lot of times we can, without even realize that we're doing it, fall prey to this idea that we need to buy things to fit in, to you know, be a part of certain trends that we may not even like. Uh, our intentions are often really convoluted when it comes to the reason why we purchase the things that we do. And so it's hugely important when you're looking at making a purchase of any kind, simply to ask yourself, what are my intentions here? Am I spending money simply because I'm bored? That's something that a lot of us do. Or am I spending money to be a part of a trend that I don't even like? That's not authentic to who you are as a person. So be honest with yourself and ask what your intentions are with any purchase you're considering. And if your intentions aren't right or they aren't authentic to who you are as a person, they aren't reflective of the intentional purchases that you want to make, then strike that item off of your list. This question is hugely important in ensuring that your purchasing decisions aren't only you know, intentional in the sense that you've spent some time thinking about them, you've intentionally put them on a list, you can see using them, but it's also a great question about helping you to understand whether or not a purchase you're considering is true to who you are as a person. And honestly, if we're talking about items that we're going to be able to love, cherish, and value for years and years to come, it's incredibly important that those purchases that we make aren't authentic to who we are as a person. So at this point, we have a pretty good framework in place for how to shop like a minimalist in the sense that we're going to be wanting to buy things with intention. But finally, I want to give you guys a quick rule that's really going to help you to be able to preserve that minimalist state that you've created. And that's called the one in, one out rule. And this rule is pretty straightforward. Essentially, for every one item that you bring into your life, you're going to declutter or say goodbye to another item. And this is an especially powerful tool for maintaining minimalism for those of us who've already decluttered our lives and been able to enjoy the benefits of a more minimal space. This is something that I've personally applied when it comes to my wardrobe. For every item that I bring into my closet, I say goodbye to another one. This is an especially powerful way of helping you to be able to replace items that have worn out or simply if there's an item that you found that you love that you want to bring into your life, it helps you to be able to be conscious of the things that you have and not be constantly raising the level of items that we own. So it helps you to be able to say, okay, I can bring something into my life, but in order to do that, I need to understand that I should also be willing to let something go. So this is a rule that you can follow as strictly or as loosely as you want, and it might be more helpful to you in some areas of your life than others, but I do really appreciate how this kind of gives us a conscious rule of not specifically how many items we should purchase, but just kind of that idea that we don't want to be bringing so many items into our lives without also being willing to let go of some items. Well guys, there you have it. That is how I shop like a minimalist and how I've personally tried to learn how to buy things with more intention. Things like making a list, waiting, assessing my intentions, those things have radically changed the way that I shop. And I used to be that person who, like I said, would just wander into a mall and aimlessly buy different things that caught my fancy. And it led to me having this huge you know wardrobe and amount of possessions that were overwhelming and honestly things that I didn't really love or use long term and so what I've been able to transition to using these rules is you know being able to buy things occasionally, but things that have been really well thought through, things that I know are going to add value to my life long term and not just for a season or even just a week. So I really hope these tips can help you to learn to be able to shop with more intention. And of course, if you have any suggestions for different ideas or tips that I didn't mention, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I would love to read with them um, and talk to you about any of them in that comment section down below. Also, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, ShopTagger, for sponsoring this video. ShopTagger really is a fantastic tool for not only being able to create shopping lists of things that you're considering buying, but also it's a fantastic way of really being able to shop smarter and to save money. So if you guys are interested in that, like I mentioned, the link for that will be the, in the description box below. 
But yeah, that's everything I have for you guys today. If you made it to the end of this video though and did not subscribe already, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. I make videos twice a week on this channel about minimalism and intentional living and I'd love to have you join me. And that's it. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.